hello and how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is mrs nadine canneville and i am happily married and a mother to five lovely children and how are you doing i am so happy to see you welcome back remember if you really like the content on this channel do click subscribe tap the notification button so that you can be alerted when I post new videos and also do like and comment down below if this is something that you like subscribe and keep watching if not that's okay too so I am back with another edition of chats with nads now i have missed you i've been away for two weeks almost three because i've not been feeling quite well i caught a slight cold and i've been trying to get over that i am feeling so much better and i'm so grateful for it so lockdown 2020 continued it's nearly the end of june now and for my family and i at least we're still on lockdown my hubby's back to work but we're still staying at home as much as we can and staying safe as much as we can um, I know lots of non-essential shops have opened now but um, although I'm into quite a bit of DIY I've been ordering as much as I can online and I have been going to Poundland because Poundland has essential items as well as stuff that you can use for DIYs and Little does too because in their middle eyes aisles and Aldi as well so I have been shopping whenever I need to I am trying my best still even at this point to shop um, not as often as I would do if these were normal times and we were not in the midst of a pandemic so I try to go out once every two weeks or three weeks as you know not so often I really am trying and as it's prolonging it's it's tough sometimes to deal with lockdown but I find if I stay connected I've made lots of friends on Insta, so if I stay connected with my family, my friends, make new friends and connections, I stay connected with my loved ones, like I try to continue, as I've told you I was doing before, I've continued to take pictures and try to do things with the children to keep them entertained, happy, busy because it's so important to be mindful of the fact that even though they're younger even my youngest who's five they're also um, feeding off our emotions they're around if we're watching the news although they might not understand all of it they do understand some so they're going through this lockdown in their own special way and just to be kind and calm and patient and mindful has been working really well um what i've planned to do because i've been looking for reasons to celebrate reasons to you know do stuff inside and with homeschooling whatever we can do and it can double up as fun and learning brilliant so i i'm a canadian citizen yes i lived in canada when i was younger and I know when I lived in Canada, Canada Day was really big. It's just like 4th of July for America, Canada Day celebration. So I said, hmm, I need to teach my two younger ones um, history. And it's not enough to just learn British history. As I was born in the Caribbean, I have gotten history books from the Caribbean and I teach them Caribbean history as well as British history. And I said, you know what? Why not buy a few books on Amazon to teach them Canadian history? And 
all so what I thought I would do is I popped on YouTube and I found some people that were doing Canada Day DIYs and it's you know simple a bit of acrylic paint um, a few stuff from Poundland and I can recreate quite closely to what they've done some of the DIYs so my plan this year is to decorate my dining table on the 1st of July which is when Canada Day is celebrated and do a little Canada Day party with my children at home inside and use that time to teach them all about Canadian history and then I planned as well on 4th of July I've also gone on YouTube and found some DIYs that I can do with pound shop stuff and stuff I've got lying around the house and I'm going to do the same on the 4th of July a little 4th of July party and use it as a way to entertain the children watch like American movies on Canada Day we can watch Canadian movies and teach them a bit of history and have a bit of fun you know it's so important to find creative ideas and although my ideas might not work for everybody else they work for me if they work for you you're welcome to run with it and just really do something lovely and really have a really happy time with your family because right now family is so important and making sure that your family is adjusting is coping well whatever you've got to do you know it's so 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 precious and so special as we are all at home I'm continuously having to stop to to listen to or to clap for my little ones so bear with me so um I what was that yes so all of you know finding creative ways and stuff to celebrate and to find ways and reasons for the family to come together reasons that you can create joy as a family so another thing that i was planning to do later in the year is do like a little harvest celebration you know decorate and do a harvest celebration with pumpkins or whatever i've got an allotment my husband and i so we plant um our own vegetables and i like squashes and pumpkins i just love them so we've planted quite a bit so i'm going to do a nice little harvest um party for them and throughout the summer i'll do little tea parties and different little stuff for my children just reasons for them to get together and to just have family time and have fun time and just to love each other and to make each other feel really special i also was thinking about doing like a thanksgiving dinner you know just anything anything because 2020 has hit us hard so anything that we can do to just lift their spirits and just give them a reason to come together and to smile and to share family time and it costs almost nothing really you know it's just turning your regular dinner into a themed dinner which is really good and even if we can get the children involved in making the the different items that we're going to use to decorate and stuff that will be lot yes as well i had to stop for my little one again but it, it's mom life what can you do so yeah so that's what um i've got planned really so we don't know the uncertainty sometimes it's hard to deal with because we don't know when this is going to finish it seems like it's gonna carry on for a while and i you know sometimes listen to the scientists and the epidemiologists and i know some of them say that there's a possibility there's not any certainty really but just a possibility that in the colder months it can pop up the virus again so we don't really know so i'm trying to plan as much as i can to keep my family in and really make them comfortable and happy throughout the rest of this year you know it's just me so anyway thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching me thanks for joining me for this little bit of chats with nads and please if you've not got anyone to check in on anyone to check in on you do drop me a comment in the comment section below and i'll get back to you just to share a little smile a little joy a little love you know 
keep that smile on your face really really do it really does improve the way you feel overall if you just smile I know it looks a bit mad but just smile it's brilliant you are beautiful you are amazing continue to take care from my house to yours continue to stay safe stay well stay blessed be kind be compassionate be patient all right love you guys so much and it was really lovely spending time with you take care bye